Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to solve the Windows plus E keyboard shortcut not working to open the file explorer. So actually this problem is actually come because in case if you are already installed the files application means so and while you are using the files application and you enable the files application as a default file explorer and at some point you have decided to uninstall the files application means at that situation you may face some of the issues like uh, so the keyboard shortcut for opening file explorer windows plus e keyboard shortcut will not work and then the f you can't able to open the file explorer directly right from the task manager and inside the file explorer you can't able to open some of the subfolders and or some of the drive folders too so these are all the issues you might be faced so regarding this we have already posted a video recently so this is the video so windows lawn folder not opening issue why in this video some of the users has actually faced still the windows plus e keyboard shortcut is not working like that issue so again i have actually checked in my pc so that is right so the windows plus e keyboard shortcut for opening file explorer is not working so for that i have actually examined this issue and currently this issue is actually sorted out now in my pc when i am pressing the windows plus e the file explorer will actually opening so now in this video we i am going to show you how to solve your windows plus e keyboard shortcut is not opening issue in this video now before that in case if you are uh, firstly comes to our channel means please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification well now let's move on to the video so firstly to solve this problem so just install the files application again so just head into the microsoft store and again install the files application so you don't know what is files means so the files application is a third party application which is similar to the file explorer but that this files application will be greatly helpful for you and it is has the more great features compared to the default file explorer in the windows 11 operating system so just to install the files application again so this problem is actually comes because of installing the file ex this files application so after uninstalling also so this problem is still go goes on because of the some of the registry entry so that is we have already covered in the previous video now in this video we are going to show you all the details and complete full solution so now we are actually installed the files application so this is how the app will looks like and after that just go to the settings option and uh, here is the option called uh, uh, experimental so in the experimental option so just select the option set files as default file manager so just enable this option and after that now this is the important thing so presently it will not shows for you but i'll show you a screenshot or a captured image here as an overlay image in your system once you have actually enable that option you will get the user control uh, section and there is a option like yes and no and also some of the details will actually shows like a registry editory and a verified publisher and the program location so like that some of the location will actually show so this is the important location now what you want to do is just capture that user account control that uh, dialog box and after capturing that photo now then you have to head into this location so for example this is the location you want to go so see users user app data local packages so it's a lengthy root folder you have to go to this files open dialog folder location so now just hit on the no option so and get back to the home screen and uh, just go to your uh, default file explorer so uh, just go to that uh, folder location so better you uh, just capture that user account control to go to that particular location instantly so now just to head into that particular location so for mine so for you also it will be similar only just go to the c and then go to the your uh, user so for mine it's a user in case if you are a, a given a some other name means you have to go to that user and after that uh, just go to the option called app data so in case if you not find this uh, uh, folder called app data means so you have to given the option called uh, uh, show hidden files so for that you have to go to the view option and that show and here is the option hidden item just enable this and after that here is a folder called app data 
data just go to the insert the app data and then uh, go to the folder called uh, local and then go to the folder called the uh, packages so here is a uh, folder called packages and inside the packages folder you have to search for the folder called 49306 uh, solution files uwp uwp so this is the folder you have to go to this folder and after that in this folder you have to go you have to go to the folder called local state and after that just open the folder called files open dialog so it's a lengthy root folder so you want to travel from this pc to uh, files open dialog folder so i have actually given that uh, image overlay here you can also go to that folder location as per this uh, uh, so as per this root folder the only thing is that so uh, my user is currently in the user in case if your user uh, account name is different means you want to go to that user user account so now finally in this files open dialog uh, folder so there is a two files one is set files as default dot uh, registry and then unset files as default dot registry so now what you want to do is just double click this unset files as default registry now just click s yes. And after that it shows some dialog box like uh, adding information like that uh, so are you sure you want to continue just click on the S yes option and that's it now the sum of the keys and values has been entered in the registry editor and that's it let's just click on the OK and after doing this process so just uh, hit the Windows plus E keyboard shortcut now your uh, file explorer will be open instantly so this is the one of the way in case if you are already installed the files application and in some point uh, you you have decided to uninstall the files application and during installing the files application you actually enabled the files application as a default file explorer means you may face like these issues like the windows plus e keyboard shortcut will not work for opening the file explorer and then the file explorer you can't able to open the file explorer right from the taskbar or else in the file explorer some of the subfolders or some of the drives will not be opened so these are all the some of the issues you will be faced after uninstalling the third party app like a files application. So now this is a one of the way you can solve all these issues. So using this method. So now that's all about this video guys. Now what are your guys thoughts on this video and let me know whether your problem is solved or not in the comment section below and uh, let me know in case some other problem also in the comment section below. I do the maximum possible solution in the upcoming days and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys.